We're here to launch Operation Nomad, our yearly um, um, prevention of bushfires and negligent uh, acts that cause fires. Um, as the Minister said, Operation Nomad has been around since the 90s. It's a unique operation in policing terms, but it's very simple. When the temperature rises and there are high risk areas, so does the SAPOL resourcing directed at those areas. And what the public will see uh, is um, an overemphasis of police vehicles uh, and um, uh, guided by um, uh, the fire ban districts and um, also as the minister said as well one of the issue one of the things with this strategy is that it targets high-risk offenders at the moment there's just over 80 high-risk uh, persons of interest that we monitor and look at so when the fire danger season identifies high-risk areas you will see uh, a lot of patrols move into that area. You see a lot of police activity as a deterrent and a highly visible presence. But you'll also expect that the relevant high risk offenders of the 83, they'll be visited and contacted by police and we'll engage with them to make sure that they're not in a position uh, to light a fire or in a position to be tempted. Uh, last year, after the tragic events of last year, um, there was 39 people that uh, for which a prosecution was commenced. A third of them were for criminal charges. The criminal uh, offences for lighting bushfires or maintaining a fire in the open, they range from one year and $5,000 to 20 years imprisonment. So the remainder of those, 66%, were people simply doing the wrong thing. And the police presence in the high-risk areas will also act as an educative tool to make sure that Today is not the day to run your grinder or do that small fire that you might have done on another day. Also, we're delighted this year that our uh, emergency partners, the SES, are joining us. They're going to provide a, um, a physical presence and a deterrence in the high-risk areas, supporting SAPOL. Importantly, they'll have radio communications operating on the same government radio network, so they'll be able to call us instantly uh, for an instant police response to their observations. Thank you.